Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi, teacher. how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very okay. good, very good. Welcome back, everybody. Good evening, thank teacher. You. Good evening, Elena. How are you, Elena? Fine, thanks. So. A little tired for the day work, but it's yeah. it's okay. Okay, good. Welcome back, everybody. Elena, Patricia, JC, Carla, in capacitación absent. Is that you, Ana, Ana Palma? Palma. Okay. Ana Palma, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Very good. Nice. So, welcome back. What's today's date? What's today's date? Uh -huh. Do you know the numbers? Do you know the months in English? March. March, very good. March what? 10th. March 10th. 10th. Yeah, March 10th, 2021. Very good. Thank you for being punctual. Thank you for being on time. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? If you were here. Mm -hmm. What topics did we cover yesterday? Everybody here was absent yesterday? What do you do when a person asks you a question? What do you do? What do you say? Go answer. Go answer, exactly. So you answer whatever. Oh, we covered this. Or you say, oh, I was absent. Oh, I forgot. But you say something, right? So what did we cover yesterday? Uh huh. I don't know, teacher, because yeah. I can. <laughs> yeah. Elena was absent. Yes. Okay. okay. What about the others? Me, me teacher. Uh, me too. We, we spoke about our appearance. What do we think about appearance? What was a, a topic? Good. Very good. You see, it's easy to answer. So yesterday, we were speaking about appearance. How can a person... Good evening. Hello, good evening. How can a person improve their appearance? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or what do you do to improve your appearance? Uh -huh. Take a shower. Take a shower, <laughs> definitely. Taking a shower gives you a, a different look. Sure. Yes. What else? Be sure to be clean or clothed. Exactly. Or hair yeah. or nail. Yes. Hygiene is very necessary. Your hair, your nails, uh, your clothing. Someone was saying yesterday that to be in good appearance, you don't need expensive shirts or expensive pants or expensive shoes, you know, just, just be clean and that will give you a good appearance. Definitely. All right. Now, what can you do for your body to improve your appearance? Do exercise, go to the gym, uh, go out to run. Very good. Sport. Yes. 
Practice. Eat healthy. Eat healthy. Sure, sure. Yes. What about um, mental activity? Is mental activity necessary? Yes, yes it's necessary. Yes. Yeah. Read a, a book. Read a book. You know, when you read a book and the book is very good, you said, I'm just going to do whatever and I'm, come back, I'm coming back to the book. You know, it's really good. Yeah. So what about sleeping? Is sleeping necessary to have a good appearance? Yes. 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 Definitely. A lot. A lot. How do you say this velarse in English? I don't know. <laughs> How do you say quedarse? Stay. Stay. Okay. Stay. So if stay. you want to say desvelarse, you will say stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Yeah. So staying up is not a good idea. It's not a good idea. When you stay up, let's say you go to bed at 12 or 1 a.m. and you have to wake up at 5.30 or 6.30 a.m. That's, that's bad for your body. You know, so sleeping well is necessary. Eating well is necessary. Exercising is necessary too. Okay, anything else? Any questions or any comments about uh, appearance? No question. No question. Okay, no all right, very good. So uh, today we will start with a conversation. Let me see, where is this conversation? Teacher, you have a nice wallpaper for your computer. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I like um, I like antiques, you know. I like pictures that are, that take me back to the time that I never lived or experienced. It's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, a, a picture is, is all I can do to, okay. Glenda, you're a teacher, right? Yes, yes what, I am. What what subjects do you teach, Glenda? All, all the all, subjects. All the subjects. Because I teach first grade. How many students do you have? 34. Ah, it's, it's not an easy task. <laughs> no, I yeah. have to take lessons. You, you have you have to be very patient. Yes, I'm patient. Good, good, very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me show you this right here. Okay, so the image is not that clear. Can you see the, the letters? Can you see the handwriting? Can you? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. It's a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit blurry. The, the image is not completely clear. Uh, so how many people are there in the picture? Two people. Two people. Two, Two. people. What are they doing? This. Speaking. Speaking, <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. See a cell phone, I okay. think. Okay, yeah, they're checking a cell phone. Right, right. What's the woman wearing? What is she wearing? Uh, blue jeans. Blue jeans, jeans. uh huh. Blues. Is she wearing I... a, a blouse, a sweater, a shirt? Shirt. A blouse. A jacket. I... A long sleeve shirt. Mm. Okay, it's a long sleeve shirt, maybe a long sleeve blouse. What color is it? Red. Purple. Red. Purple. Purple. Red. Purple. How do you say chaleco in English? Jacket. Vest. Vest. Very good. Vest. Yeah, vest. Right there. Vest. And she's wearing a red vest. What about the hair? Long hair, short hair? Long hair. No, maybe hair. long hair. What color? What? Yellow. Blonde. Yellow. Blonde. 
Blonde. Blonde. Blonde hair. Okay. It's blonde. Yeah. All right. What are, and how old do you think she is? How old is she? She's in the in her thirties, maybe. Yeah, maybe in her thirties. Right. Right. Okay. What uh? What does she have curly hair? Does no. she have curly hair? No. How no. hair does she have? She has straight hair. Straight hair. Straight hair. Right. Okay. Any questions about the woman? No. Okay. No. What, okay. What about the guy? What is he wearing? A jeans. Uh, a green shirt. Green shirt, right? What else? And a brown uh, jeans, I think. Brown. And brown jeans. Uh, All right, good. So I'm going to read the conversation once. Uh, you pay attention to pronunciation. If you have any new words in the vocabulary, you write it down. And it goes like this. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right. It's recording. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Any questions? No. Is all the vocabulary clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, yes, can, yes. can somebody please take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp chat? That is. Thank you very much. Blacks GZ. What's your name, Blacks GZ? Antonio. I'm Antonio. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, it looks better. This image looks better than the one that I'm sharing now. Okay. So I'm going to uh, divide you in pairs. For you guys to uh, practice uh, your pronunciation. So give me a second. All right. 13. Here we go. Out of room. All right. Let's do this. Take turns reading, please.
That's because you haven't pressed it, pressed it, called pressed. Bottom. pressed it called bottom. Thank you. Oh, good. It's raining. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get this voice mail. You're right. Thanks. Now, what do you, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to deal the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call, the call button. Oh, good. Turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but... Don't forget to dial, dial the area code. Dial. Okay. Okay. What, teacher? No. Sorry, teacher, I can't hear you. Dial. 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 Okay. Dial. Yes. Dial the area code. Right. The area code, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, and I can see the number, but I can't hear anything that's because you haven't uh, pressed the call button oh good it's but you can you can see very well you are high do i have que car no no le entiendo lo de abajo no no es que no se entiende aparte eh solo this may Okay, let's okay. do it again. Okay, uh, and you, Jenny, I, Richard. Okay, okay, okay. Can okay. I borrow your, can I borrow yourself, your phone to call my boss? I can't believe in you. Still don't, I have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. New. What do I need to do? If I practice, just practice again the same. Ah, yeah. If you want. Yes. Okay. I I I start. Can okay. I borrow the phone to?
All right. Uh, any questions about the conversation? I had one teacher. Yes, in the in the case in the conversation um, for the fluency of the expression in in case in the in the second participation of Richard is first of all is I is is very difficult for me for I think is is too fast uh, okay. really I need to say fast this part but first of all is complicated is first of all first of all first of all first of all first okay. of all yeah so remember those expressions that vocabulary that gives everybody you know like specific issues you need to practice them as much as possible remember making mistakes is how you obtain uh the right pronunciation so first of all First of all, first of all. So those words, that vocabulary that you identify and you know that it's difficult for you to pronounce, that's the part that you need to practice the most. Practice, practice, practice until you get the right pronunciation. I heard like three different people saying pressed, but it's not pressed, it's pressed. pressed. Let, let, let me see. Uh, which which line you see it uh, oh, you, haven't, you haven't pressed you haven't pressed so remember there was a time that we were studying uh, the pronunciation of ed so that that class that particular rule also applies uh, in this case pressed Pressed. Right. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? So, how do you say resumir in English? Resume. Summary. Okay, summary is resuming. Resumir. Summary. 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 Okay, summarize. 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 Okay, give me a second. Summarize. It's the verb. Resumir. Summary is the noun. Summarize is the verb. Summary is the noun. So, who can summarize the conversation? What is the conversation about? The conversation is about a person that really doesn't know how to use a cell phone. Right. So what is, who doesn't know how to use the cell phone? Is it the man or the woman? The woman. The okay. woman. Okay. And what is the man doing in the conversation? At the beginning, Richard was, um, how, uh, like, he was surprised that, Jenny didn't have to use the cell phone. Right. Yeah, he was surprised yeah. that she didn't know yeah. she didn't have a cell phone. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but after that, he started to teach her to how to use the cell phone because Jenny was doing some errors, like sending recording a voice mail. Right. Right. It's like when when a person gets a new cell phone. If you're not too Take savvy, you know, that cell phone can play games on you, right? Okay, so uh, when you're giving instructions to somebody on how to do something, we use imperatives. What's an imperative? What is an imperative, people? Uh -huh. Verbs in the base. Okay, and what is the function of imperatives? Turn on the cell phone, dial 911, turn it off, turn it on, charge it. Those are exactly. Is an indication, a specific indication? Right, right. So imperatives are indications. So imagine that it's very cold and the window is open. What do you tell someone in your house? Please close the window. 
please close the window, please. Thank you, excuse me. Those are magic words. So please uh, close the window. What if it's the opposite? It's very hot and the window is closed. Open the window. Open the window. Open the window. Right, right. So imagine you come to your house, the television is on, but nobody's watching it. What is the first thing you say to your children or your husband or wife? Turn off the TV. Turn off the television. Turn off the television. Nobody see the television. Yeah, nobody's <laughs> watching it. Right. So imperatives are instructions. So uh, in the conversation you guys just read, you know, you can find several uh, imperatives in the conversation. Any questions or comments? My goodness, somebody celebrate. Good. Life is for celebrating, not for crying. All right, anything else? Any questions? No? No. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I'm going to play an audio. You guys listen to the audio. The audio has five small conversations, mini conversations. But in every conversation, they're using imperatives. So your mission is to label, how do you say cuaderno in English? Notebook. 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 So on your notebook, you're supposed to write one, two, three, four, five. Conversation one, you will write the imperative that you hear. Conversation two, you will write the imperative that you hear. And then you do the same for three, four, and five. Any questions? No, always. Okay. Here. All right, let me see this here. I will put everybody on mute so we don't have any interruptions from anybody. So let me see this here. Pay attention. Here we go. Page 109, exercise four. Can you hear it? Very good. Yes. Listening comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Conversation one. Hi, Mark. What's wrong? I'm freezing. Actually, it is a little cold in here. Could you close the window, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Conversation two. Hmm. What's for dinner? Chicken and rice. Yum. You sure can cook. Thanks. Could you turn off the stove? Sure. Conversation three. Hi, Ellen. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Andy. I'm fixing this lamp. Need any help? No, but thanks. Well, actually, could you please hand me my glasses? Conversation four. Where were you? I went shopping. Look at all those things. Can I help you? Actually, could you please open the door? My pleasure. Conversation five. Hi, Becky. What are you knitting? A sweater. But I can't knit very well. Well, I can. Do you need help? Yes, please. Could you help me? Of course. Who has the five answers? I'll play it one more time. Okay, I'll play it once again. Listen carefully. Can you help me? Page 109, exercise four. Listening comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Conversation one. Hi, Mark. What's wrong? I'm freezing. Actually, it is a little cold in here. Could you close the window, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Conversation two. What is the answer for number one? Could you, could you, could you close, close the window, could please? The window, please? Could you close the window, please? Very good. Mmm. What's for dinner? Chicken and rice. Yum. You sure can cook. Thanks. Could you turn off the stove? Sure. What did she say? 
Can you turn off the can stuff? You, can you turn off the stuff? Okay, what is, what is the name of the thing where you prepare all your food? <clears throat> it has four or five burners. Can you stove. Turn the rice? Or stove. Stove. How do you spell stove? S-T-O-V-E. Excellent. S-T-O-V-E. Stove. What is she cooking to eat? Chicken and rice. Chicken and Chicken rice. Chicken and rice. Chicken and rice. And she says, can you turn off the stove? All right. Conversation three. Hi, Ellen. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Andy. I'm fixing this lamp. Need any help? No, but thanks. Well, actually, could you please hand me my glasses? What did she ask? Could you please hand me my glasses? Could you, could you please give me my glasses? Could you please hand me my glasses? Uh -huh. Yes. Hand. Hand me. Could you please hand me my glasses? Teacher, you can write the phrase in the chat, please. Of course, right now. Hand me my glasses. I don't remember if she said, can you or, yeah, I think she says, can you. Could you please? Could you please? Could you please? Could you please? Okay, good. Could you please hand me my glasses? Sure. They're right here. So you, you, you hand her the glasses. Okay, let's check number four. Conversation four. Where were you? I went shopping. Look at all those things. Can I help you? Actually, could you please open the door? My pleasure. What did the man ask? Can you please open the door? Could you please open the door? Could you please open the door? Yes. Imagine you go to the supermarket and you have four bags in each hand. So you say, can you please open the door? And here we go with the last one. Conversation five. Hi, Becky. What are you knitting? A sweater. But I can't knit very well. Well, I can. Do you need help? Yes, please. Could you help me? Of course. What is the, uh, what did she say? Could you, Could you help me? me? Could you help me? Excellent. What's the lady doing? Uh-huh. Fix the sweater, I don't know, I think. Okay, you see the chat? She's, she's knitting the sweater. What is knitting? What's knitting? Coser, cosiendo. Uh, yeah, cosiendo, bordando. Anything that is related with uh, needles and string, yeah, tejer. Right? So knitting, what are you knitting? I'm knitting a sweater. So knit, in this case, it mm. sounds similar to knit, but it's not knit, yes. it's knit. Okay, any questions or comments? No? No questions, no comments? I guess not. No, teacher. Yeah, your silence is definite. <laughs> it's like when when uh, when you go to your house and you ask your children, who broke the window? And they stay quiet. <laughs> They're confessing <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so the same happens to you, like any questions and you stay quiet. Okay, I guess not. All right, anyways. Uh, so imperatives, we use them to, um, to give instructions or to give orders. All right, let me, oh, no, it's the wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh... All right, so today we are speaking about a place that most people love to visit. What is a place that you love to visit on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays? 
The beach. The beach. Okay, someone else besides the beach? The mountains. Mountains, yes. Lake. Okay, national parks. Yeah. National parks are good for walking. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh air, too. Yes. Okay. So today's conversation is about the beach. Beach. So here are the questions. Somebody please help me taking a screenshot and sharing it in the in the chat, please. Somebody, anybody? Mm -hmm. Nobody, okay. I don't have my WhatsApp open. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, thank you. Oh, three for one, good. Four for one. <laughs> so you choose the one you like better. All right, so let's recreate all rooms. Let's see. Da -da -da. All right, so let's do it. Talk about the beach. You can start in number two.
crowd when it's holiday. Very crowd. I don't Very like crowd. to go when it's holiday. I prefer each other day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Many people in, I don't know. I don't like. Okay, number five says. Uh -huh. It's in the, in the Chalatenango. It's a place, its name is uh, Cabañas Pinavete. I love Pinavete. this place. Yes. I listen to Pinavete. It's wonderful because wonderful. it's, yes, with the, the, Las Cabañas, I don't say what to say, the Cabañas. Las Cabañas is very, <laughs> is very complete. Um, the food is a good food. Uh, Cabins. Cabins. Thank Cabins. you. Cabins is a, a very complete and the food is delicious. Um, you have different activities in the day. Okay. Five. Huh? Um, Question five. What danger okay. might? Question five. What danger yeah. might you find on the beach? Well, uh, the dangers number five that I can find is maybe the waves because if you can't swim, the waves it can be very dangerous. There are many people that have died there in the beach and that is that is, i no i can say i can do, do it i don't know what to do i don't know what to do thank you teacher yeah i don't know what to do in in the mountain and i prefer the beach yeah but when it's holiday i think that it, it's more crowded, the beach. There are more people in the beach when it's a holiday. Uh, it's true. <laughs> All the people. Yeah. Great. What the world yeah. is like to live uh, in a house beach. on yeah. the beach. What would it be? I don't know. Is maybe. Oh, uh, <laughs> very hard. <laughs> yes. I do what like in the house. On the beach is day. Is a uh, the lunch. Nothing. I'm yeah. not living in in the beach. Yeah, me too. Me neither. Yes. It's very hot. I uh, I know it's uh no it's nice. No, it's nice. That's yes. true. And Okay, the next question. Uh, when was the last time you went to the beach? Um, I went to the beach uh, two, three or two months ago. I went to the beach on December. Um, I don't remember. Um, I went to the beach, I don't know. Two years ago. Maybe well, I guess, <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> in, 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 
actually actually when i i went to the beach it was my first time <gasps> really? yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true why <laughs> i because never I mm -hmm. okay. yes it's true it's true yes okay the number five what dangers Hi. mean you find on the beach? The sun. Mm. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> uh, <Manuel. laughs> yeah, it could be. Some people are allergic. <laughs> yes. I'm allergic, but I. I me quemo rápido. <laughs> I get you burned. Say me rápido? I get burned easily. I get burned easy. Easily. Easily. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dangers you might find on the beach, the sun. Yeah, you know, and that's usually the main reason. Like, if you ask people, do you go to the beach? They say no. Usually, it's because of the sun. You know, they are allergic or it's too hot for them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So those are the. Teacher, how do you say trabazón? How do you say trabazón? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Yes. Yeah. Or traffic jam, right? More, very more, much traffic. Yeah, much traffic. Okay. Uh, I think other thing dangerous you mind in the you find in the beach is a uh, um, medusa. Uh, jellyfish. Jellyfish, yes, jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, and it can do something to your skin. Yes, burn your skin. Right, right, right. Okay. Or, or, or poison too. Right. Sometimes. Yeah, everybody reacts different to to the poison of the jellyfish. Right. Calm down. I don't know. Yes. In, in in the in the beach are are um, too many party party at night we we can be for a lot all you can eat I think um, be it be like to 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 house the beach very well. Okay. The San Blas Beach, because I have a I have a, a beach house, and I is more comfortable and more cheaper, <laughs> to cheaper. go cheaper to go San Blas house. Good, good. How much time have you had the house in San Blas? Uh, for almost uh, 10 years, I think. Okay, good, good. Nice. Okay. For me, I would like to go... Marones, como es? Shrimp. Uh, shrimp. 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 Thanks, teacher. Yes. Shrimp or... How do you say conchas? Muscles. Muscles. Muscles, yes. A muscles. fresh muscles. Yeah, they're really good. Because in the city, the seafood, there was, um, ¿cómo se diría? Que, que no está fresca. There was old. Oh, it's oh, not no. fresh. It's not it's fresh. It's not fresh. Right, right. Mm -hmm. True. Ahí. Si hay plata, en serio. Sí. Where? That's true. Yes. Hello, teacher. How are you? <laughs> I am fast. Very good. good. Very okay. good, teacher. No Spanish in the class. Yes. I'll pull your ear. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You were absent yesterday, Olympia. 
Eh, um, no puedo decirlo en, en inglés. Eh, padezco de migraña. Eh, oh. De hecho, estoy con migraña. Tengo okay, so como... I suffer, I suffer migraine. Yes. Migraine. Y es crisis de desde el viernes estoy así, entonces ando medio dopada. Ok. Y ayer no pude entrar. En inglés. En inglés, dice mi esposo, él le va a contestar exactly, en inglés. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so tell your husband that I agree, you know. Push I know. She has to try. She, sure. have to, she has to try. Yeah, she has to try. <laughs> Definitely, Olympia. Yes, I... I is teacher personality. Oh, good. Your private. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. It's personal. Um, um, I know so much. Um, no sabe mucho, pero bueno. Okay. <laughs> no, él está en avanzado igual que mis hijos, pero por eso estoy yo, para que no me den mentiras. Así lo les entiendo. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you. Little museum, uh, you have to climb the stairs, and there are many. Teacher, how do you say mirador? <laughs> how do you say what? Mirador. 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 Oh, mirador. Yeah, like in Spanish, but pronunciation is different, so say mirador. Because I'm telling to my classmates that uh, the National Park of Boqueron is cheap. Right. Just uh, one dollar, and the uh, people of the tercera edad. How do you say? The people of tercera edad. Of tercera edad. How do you say? Oh, elders, elders, elders. Yeah, elders. Okay, elders. Uh, they don't, don't pay. pay. Then, uh, yeah, good, good. And it's near. Well, <laughs> if you're in San Salvador, it's near. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, I'm saying that it's nearest uh -huh. of Santa Tecla. Yeah, very near, mm -hmm. near Merliot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay, teacher. Okay. I study English and my son is um, course. I am course and um, seven course. Eh, ah, ah, um, eh, um, seven, eh, este. Okay, this, this is your seventh course. Yes, seven course con All right, All right. Um, it's difficult to um, speaking. Speak, speak, speak. Try, try. No try, practice. Try. Yes, I no practice. Uh, the work is Spanish. Is is. Uh, uh, so and um, difficulty is I am is practice. Yeah, right. okay, you have to practice. Yes. Right. In my house, a uh, practice is uh, a veces. Sometimes. 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 Yes. All right, good. Is competence. A competition. All right, good. A competition, yes. Okay, good. All right, people, it's nine o'clock already. Do you have any questions or comments about today? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. In the group, we do not finish. <laughs> not finish the yeah, whole question. I know because we we need more time to to finish all the questions. But uh, I think tomorrow we will start. That will be your first activity. You know, start with the questionnaire. So if you don't yes. have any, if you don't have any questions or comments, thank you again for making the time. See you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.